I'm not taking you. Then I guess you'll stay attached to the wall. What, what is this, some, some kind of come on? What happened to the supposed love of your life? I will stoop to almost any level to get off this island without having to marry my mother's hand-picked son-in-law. Help me get out of here and I will give you anything you want. Get away from me. There's no reason restraining ourselves. Ali, you bit my lip. You get those lips near me again and I swear I will bite them off! Come bite me again, my heathen princess. Nothing excites me like the call of the wild. You've got nothing I want. That's right. You're in love with Sam, wasn't it? She's obviously more cooperative than I am, considering my mother intends to marry her off to Andrew in my place. You know what I need? I need information. How much of this island is bordered by beaches? Are there cliffs? Are there woods? How much is the perimeter actually patrolled by guards? That's what I need! Now why should I tell you anything? So you and Sam can escape and leave me to deal with my mother? We're getting off this island together. Or you're not leaving at all. Suit yourself. You need to change your attitude. <laughs> After all, I've got the only thing you can use as a key. No animal passion until the wedding night, please. You don't have to guard your virtue any longer, Ali. Vittorio has sadly debauched you. You bit my lip because you want me, and I assure you that feeling is mutual. Andrew, what are you doing? Do you save something for the wedding night? You're interrupting me. Well, not a moment too soon. My daughter and I have wedding plans to discuss. If you'll excuse us, please. Clearly, I have no choice. Until our wedding. <sighs> you are no grieving mother. You are either a manipulative con artist or a cold-hearted reptile. Which is it? And don't try to lie to me because I've had a lifetime of experience with both. My mother left when I was three. My father was a grifter. He used me in every con he could think of, so believe me, I know your type. I can't imagine what would have driven her to abandon you. I was excess baggage, okay? I, look, I, I spent years looking for her. When I finally found her, she didn't want to have anything to do with me. Poor thing. You must have been devastated. Oh, come on. Sit. Please, do not act sympathetic. I hate when heartless monsters pretend to feel. I'm not pretending. I know all about con artists. And I know all about callous, unfeeling mothers. You probably neglected Ellie when she was alive, and it's obvious you could not care less that she's dead. All right, it's true. I'm not a grieving mother. My daughter Alicia is still alive. Get me out of these cuffs. After we negotiate. If you supply the muscle to fend off Dante and his crew, then I will help you and your girlfriend, Sam, get off I the island. I can get away from here without you. The way it works is you're supposed to agree to help me and then double-cross me, but the fact that you didn't makes me think that I could actually trust well, you. Well, you know what? I don't want your trust. I don't want anything from you. I don't want you slowing us down. And what makes you assume I would? Because you don't have the guts to stand up to your own mother. If your daughter... Ellie is alive. Why do you need me? Because the sorry fact is, without a doting father or a devoted husband or a fortune to cushion the blows, a sensitive woman is a walking invitation to users. And my Elisa is particularly vulnerable. I made the mistake of overprotecting her, and now she is completely incapable of fending for herself. Well, then why don't you just let her marry the man she loves? Because Vittorio is a spineless weakling, not to mention parasitically poor. He intends to use and discard poor Alicia, and she is too naive to realize it. So you're trying to protect her in your own slightly demented way. Look, you were not fortunate enough to have a devoted mother, but think for a minute for the kind of mother you would like to become. 
Wouldn't you do everything possible to assure a future for the daughter that you dearly love? That's all I'm trying to do for Alicia. I'm trying to shield her from life's harsher realities by marrying her to Andrew for a couple of days. And a couple of nights. I know you've led a difficult life. Which is why you know the pitfalls for an innocent girl. If you could just find it in your heart to consummate this marriage, you and my daughter will be set for life. Mm. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Let me get this straight, okay? You want me to sleep with Andrew, who thinks he's sleeping with Allie, and then we're all gonna split this divorce settlement? Well, I don't have long to live, and I can't bear the thought of leaving Alicia adrift and alone. Won't you at least consider my proposal? Okay. But first, you've got to do something for me. I promise to name my first child after you. Yeah, don't bother. Jason... If it's a boy, and Azure, if it's a girl, Whatever. because of your eyes, they are a remarkable shade of blue. Time to go. Thank God you're all right. I've been so worried. Okay, listen to me. There's a letter opener in the desk upstairs. I want you to grab it, hold it to Allegra's neck, and get her down here. And then what? I'll get us out of this hellhole. Uh, did you enjoy your visit with your girlfriend? Yeah, I did, and we're getting out of here. How are you gonna manage that? Well, first Sam will handle your mother. <laughs> I hate to disillusion you, but nobody handles my mother. We will. My mother is manipulative, not to mention lethal. You have just sent your girlfriend into the fangs of a snake. I'm returning your necklace, and I brought you some things to wear. One should always dress for special occasions, especially the ones involving stress. <laughs> I don't get it. Well, elegant clothing and accessories, jewelry, makeup. These are all a woman's greatest weapons. The equivalent of bayonets and spears. It's primitive, but surprisingly useful. I would just like my necklace back, please. Oh, Thank of you. course. Why don't you try some of these on before you put your necklace back on? I have one here that was Alicia's favorite. I think it would look lovely on you. That is beautiful. I like it. Very nice. Go ahead. Stick the blade through my heart. But before you do, will you promise me one thing? Promise me that you'll protect my darling Alicia. <laughs> 